Ladies and gentlemen, as I begrudgingly thrust myself out of bed in the wake of not being able to get any sleep here in Super Mario 64 DS on account of restless kittens who demand all of my attention, I'd like to welcome you back to the game. My name is Allison Cruz, and it's only going to be literally a matter of seconds into this recording before the cats start fighting. They were just fine before. I've actually been up for like an hour, and they've been all cuddly and calm and just concise, but now, now it looks like something's about to go down. But previously, uh, we encountered our very first death, and that was very disheartening, but that's okay because it happened in the name of comedy, and also uh, about timeness, and also lack of skill. And um, we ended up taking out Bowser, that was kind of fun, I guess, but now we're back down here in the dungeons in the basement to deal with a couple of things, including Dis destroying the moat and all of the castle's defenses, but more importantly, we discovered ourselves uh, a bit of like like an oil drippage. That's always what I kind of imagine this being. It's just like a vat of oil that we jump into, like good ass car diesel fuel, and we head in here to head to the next course, which is Hazy Maze Cave, where we get to deal with the swimming beast in the cavern. And like I mentioned before, this isn't necessarily one of my more favorite stages. As a matter of fact, uh, I could really live without it, especially with these enemies that just will jump at you and immediately spawn back in certain situations, such as over here. This guy, he comes back like instantly. He doesn't give you a second. Are you guys good? But we're not going to go that way. We're going to head over here first, I believe, because there are quite a number of differences in this version as opposed to the N64 one, which is what I would like to uh, detail at some point in the future, but if this ca this camera, camera, I'm not even pressing the camera button, it, it thinks it knows what's best, but clearly it does not. Uh, Luigi? 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 Okay, you can save yourself, that's fine. It probably would have been a good idea to be Mario for this stage, actually, and I don't think there's a, a cap, a, a red one, here in this area. It must be Seattle. Uh, but uh, this area is a little bit different because there's no longer a hidden star here. And I don't remember what they swapped it out for, but keep in mind, this little crevice that you would probably sleep in is unfortunately uh, bereft of secrets. There's also one over here, and also, you'll notice, plenty of maps. Even though it's a maze, uh, they want to let you know how to get through it, and it tells you, you know, where we are, where we've started. But with the advent of the uh, bottom screen of the DS, it renders that graphic entirely moot, so no need to worry about that. So, uh, elevator number two takes us to the underground lake, whereas we can head to the black hole, and Hazy Maze is closed. No, it's not, sir, and I will prove you wrong very shortly. But first, I will take a one-up. Ooh, just grab a couple more of those. And are you guys, are you guys good? It's one o'clock in the morning, you guys need to calm the heck down, man. So heading down here to elevator two, some nice little graphics, but more importantly, it's the underground cavern, and, ooh, also gonna go and break my backbone, why not? So the swimming beast that they mentioned is actually old Bessie and they gave her goggles, but more importantly, they dressed her in a color that's even uglier than green. Which, uh, I guess for reference sake, I actually love green, but a lot of people don't. Therefore, many people say it's uncreative, not worse than this uh, neon piss yellow hat of ours. But we go ahead and wear it as a parka, and ladies and gentlemen, we lose control! What is happening? I just have to give Wario a second to go ahead and uh, scratch his butt there. But here we have our final character, and things are good for us because Wario is a powerhouse. He's a literal and utter opposite of Mario and Luigi. He is slow as heck, he doesn't have any height or distance to his jumps, but he can destroy boulders with his bare fist. At least the one with the glove on it. And uh, you know what, it works out for us because it helps us get this business. Unfortunately, uh, or I guess fortunately, I should say, we didn't have to accrue any animal cruelty charges in this visit. Not yet anyways, but there we have it. Our first star of Hazy Maze Cave. And I'm, I'm ready to kind of just get right on through with it. I don't think it's entirely necessary to sit around and let this take three or four episodes because with Wario, life is going to be easy. Not if we're dealing with red coins, however. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of a visit through the entirety of Hazy Maze Cave here so we can uh, acclimate ourselves to it because 
I, I don't think I've actually mentioned it in this project, but this is my third attempt at this LP that uh, I am doing. The first two took place between 2013 and 2016, in which I played through the game in its entirety. And uh, I contemplated doing a walkthrough then, but then other things came up, and then I just decided against it because it was going to take too much work, and this guy, oh no. But, oh, you guys are going to be, there you go. Give me, give me some of that goodness. Yeah, that Wario goodness. But I guess I decided 2019 was going to be the year to do this, and as a result, a lot of this is stuff that I have not really been rehearsed on, especially Hazy Maze Cave, which I think might have been the sole exception. But getting tackled by Wario is definitely an experience that most would probably not like to uh, deal with. So something that I love about Wario is that uh, he gives the middle finger to reading, and he just will toss and destroy signs with zero abandon. It's kind of incredible. Whew. But we're actually going to be heading in the opposite direction of the red coins, because if we collect all 100 coins now, I think that'll help out. This stage is notoriously annoying for it. Okay, I don't even get the... Are you kidding me? Is it even... Oh my god, then there's a swoop and swoop. Okay, can I start this over? Oh, cats are also starting to fight. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to try to defuse the situation, and I'll be right back. There we go. Much better. And I only get a single coin out of it, and... No, I got a two. Nice. Okay. Worth it. Are you guys good? You literally... I just... Oh my god. The second I start talking, and they immediately just go at each other's throats, but like playfully, kind of... I don't know, it's kind of weird. Oh no, Wario, don't do the thing. So as you could have probably have guessed, uh, we can now destroy these giant blocks. And as a result, I mean, if Wario wants to do it, uh, we can get some pretty neat stuff inside, including a mega mushroom. Yes, who else needed it other than the were man himself? So, wow, okay. Uh, that's not what I was expecting to have happen on the first try, but we can stand here and make it real easy to get those rolling rocks I think is the name of the mission but if we can get a wump that'd be nice maybe I'm gonna avoid this star for now because we don't really need to grab it and I don't want to start over again except I might need to Luigi man that thing landed right on my freaking dome man okay so we don't need to actually head down so I'm just gonna go over here collect some of the good stuff and uh, we could probably start heading towards the red coins Although there's still the maze to deal with, and coming here ultimately was probably a bad idea. But we're 30 coins richer than we were before, and as any aficionado of Wario would know, that's probably the best thing you can do for us. Ugh. Okay. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're okay. The cats know that I'm in distress, so they've calmed down. What does this say? This is a giant wall. Enjoy. Cool. Many signs in this stage. I'm gonna try to avoid reading as much of them as I can. So, we're going to head in a bit of a roundabout way towards what appears to be the elevator portion of the stage, the Red Coin Mission. This place is so obnoxious, I hate it, because it's so vertically inclined, we have to deal with elevators that move on their own, or you have to do it manually and just go across with finicky DS controls. Obviously, I'm playing this on the 3DS, so are you kidding me? I want that. Um, let's just kill, please. <laughs> Man, who knew that the butt would be mightier than the than the fist? But we got a switch star here that I don't want to press. Ugh, damn. <laughs> and we don't need to grab that right now, so there's a second star that we can potentially reach. But we're going to head into the maze portion itself. I just want to make sure we have plenty of coins, because there is a lot of opportunity to miss many of them. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this level whatsoever. So let's just get on through it. Like I said, this, I believe, would be the entrance right here because that is where we came from just now. Uh, and you're going to tell me it's closed, right? Let's see. Yeah, Hazy Maze, exit danger. Closed. Turn back now. So what is this area supposed to be? I was always having the impression it was like a mining facility or just something underground, obviously, where they were doing something to garner natural resources. But it now, due to the additional signage, makes me think that it's like an amusement park of some kind. I don't know. It's weird because why, why would there be like a specific exit? Maybe it's like one of those those uh, spelunky deals, you know. But we head over here, we get two more signs. Good God. You're, you're just going to tell me about the arrows. Yeah, beware of the strange toxic cloud. Don't breathe it. 
If you feel faint, run for higher ground and fresh air. Also, keep out. We left safety precautions here in order to stop people from stumbling in, but here, if we're lucky, okay, there is a Sniffit, and I hate these guys because he usually will try to attack us as we enter, but Wario's special ability for his power flower is amazing, and I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have turned Wario into a metal machine. When he's metal, he can walk underwater. Try it. So we are invincible to enemy attacks, and uh, there we go. Just like to take that into consideration. We've also got some Monty Moles who will garner no rewards. It's not fun. But uh, the main point of contention I'd like to deal with here is probably finding another Power Flower, uh, which is not down over there. Oh, and you'll notice uh, some of this Toxic Fumes, Toxic, Toxic? The toxicity of these fumes won't hurt us because it's not to our mouths. Yeah, this is certainly how that uh, how that works, right? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the natural property of gases probably disagree. We come back over here, and we have uh, this that we can deal with. This blue coin, and I want to make sure we don't screw it up. Okay, you know what, sir? I'm just gonna take care of that right away. We're gonna re-up on our flower, and we're gonna press it because I think we just go back the same way we came. All right, come on, Wario. There we go. All right. So we press this, and then we go over here. Yep, forward, okay. So one, two, three, excuse me, Mons? Uh, okay, I guess that can work. Ooh, okay, I think I missed one, but that's okay. If we head over here, this might take us to somewhere we don't care to be. I just wanna double check since this is where it took us. Man, that Monty will screw us out of five coins. How dare he? We would be almost pretty much perfect for collecting all the red coins now, but no, he had to go and screw up our frickin' plans. Okay, so where does this take us? It looks like back to the black hole room, right? Oh, it's this. Okay. Well, here's another star. <laughs> so I think, I think I probably wouldn't even have to show these, but you know, it's probably a good idea too. Now I think, if I'm not mistaken, okay. No, worry. Okay, thank God you cannot walk off. I was literally pressing backwards. Okay, I will go straight forward, and then I go straight back, and he has to turn. Keep in mind, that is a control scheme that they elected for this game. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. So we could actually probably head back to the room at the elevators, and also this. Are you a one-up? Am I going to be sad that I grabbed you? No, I'm not. And we don't necessarily need to be Wario for this either. It's probably easier if you're not, to be completely honest. All right, let's go and get a run and started. Yeah. Jump, yeah. jump, man! Oh no! <laughs> okay, that was a little too much power there, Mr. Wario. All right, we're fine. So what? Are, oh man, more signs everywhere. Good God, this feels like a Shyamalan production. So should I just switch on back to someone else, or should we try to take on the challenge of our rivals? Do this entire ordeal as the Wario man. I've been heavily considering doing uh, Wario Land 4 at some point on the channel. I was watching Sickabee's playthrough of it a couple nights ago, and I was like, oof, this game is good, and I like it, and I missed it. And it's been like a year since uh, Shake It, also. How's, how's it going? Please take a look at the map below, memorized it. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, I guess they're kind of everywhere. It's not really much of a help now. But this is how we get to the Switch Star, and we've also, oh no, we have to deal with this platform getting over to the Mr. Eye. What are you doing up there, big brother? How dare you? I will not outwit. I will not outlast. I will not outplay. Instead, I will expect the unexpected. Unexpected? Yeah, I think that's right. So yeah, just a couple of red coins here and there. And if you bump into something, it's not really a big deal, because no one cares. They're just like, eh, it's fine. Eh, who cares? There's also a little Mario cab down there. See, it'd be kind of nice to be able to mark things on the bottom screen so you can remember where they are for later, because that, that is an option this game has deftly avoided. Also, also the cats. So you're just more coins. That's lovely. All right, are you guys good? You guys, you guys want to scream for the camera even more? I'm sure, you know, everyone here on the YouTube would appreciate it. So why the hell not? Uh, we don't need to grab this guy. It's probably a bad idea to. As a matter of fact, because I'll probably end up collecting a red coin out of nowhere, but you know, we'll, we'll give it a shot. See if we can do it. Uh, this guy's 
pretty hard because the turning that you need to employ to get around him is very tight. So that was bad. Also, it's not every day that you hear Luigi's voice coming out of a large mustached yellow man. It's kind of funny, actually. It fits even worse so than, uh, you know, Yoshi's. So if we go and reach this pipe, which apparently Wario is incapable of, his little stumpy legs, I might have to find more mischievous ways to do it. And doing this as Wario is clearly a bad idea. We're going to be playing as him enough, so I don't think he's necessary. Especially going through the maze. <sighs> Am I doing this all wrong? I might be. I very well might be. There we go. Die for that pull, Wario. Prove the haters wrong. And did I do this the wrong way? This is back to where that other entrance was. I totally screwed myself on this. I went for the wrong one. You aimed too far for the for the stars, Wario, and you're gonna suffer for it. We're gonna torture everybody watching this by forcing them to <laughs> watch me do this horribly, as well as cats angstily walking around each other. There we go. Man, you would think I had never played this game before, but judging off of the first couple of episodes, then yes, your assumption would appear to be correct. Also, Ori found his ball. So you're gonna hear a little bit of jingles in the back. Which I thought I had hidden, but maybe he found it. I put it in a pile of clothes and he just knew. He knew that's where it was gonna be! Wario, you're going to break your legs! And I'm gonna laugh, except I'm gonna cry, because it's gonna be our second death in two episodes. And I will not stand for it. Alright. Now, let's try this again. Yeah, yeah, it's probably because it's Luigi under there. Now that everything's going belly up. We're gonna be careful, because from this height, I think it'll do half our damage if we fall, half of our health. Remember my, uh, my butt stomp techniques. Yeah, see, if we get the 100 coins in mid-transit, we're gonna be kind of screwed, especially for this point. Oh, no. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. I don't like it. Okay. Oof. Oof. Okay, watch it. Ori just jumped up on the couch and then jumped down immediately. Oh, my God. This was perfect. All right, uh, well, cool. Uh, double stars for the price of one. Please and thank you. Oh yeah, Wario time. All right, that was horrible. I used to do a pretty good Wario voice back in the day when I cared and I actually did it somewhat unironically. Oh, and I dropped on it. <laughs> uh, Luigi time. See, I can't do it anymore. Back when we played Mario Party, I could do it like right off the cusp, but I'm so out of practice that it's just not happening, man. All right. Oh, and that's 50. That's enough to open the star door on the third floor. Bounce closer. Eek. But before you move, make sure you found the uh, switch and hit the also blocks. The third floor is just ahead. You know, we just started with the basement. So I think we have plenty more to do, including metal Wario head can move. Yes, that is what those words mean. Which one was that? Was that the one with the blocks? Or the rolling rocks? All right, what's up? Hey, hey, come back here. Come here. Oh, okay. Sorry, excuse me, sir. I need that cap. It is the most fashionable reason that I've even come to this cave in the first place. Let's go and grab it. Let's go and have some fun with it. Although this jump with Wario is a little tricky. It's a tricky girl. There we go. Okay, so make our way over here again. Uh, I can. There we go. Make that. Is this metal? It's metal head of Wario, I know. But we all know metal head is dead. Speaking of which, I've been thinking about getting back to Spyro at some point. I was really into the idea of doing all three games in a row. But once that first series took like 30 episodes, I was like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't just do a whole ton of it right immediately. Can you guys thank you? I want to collect you as a giant man, please. There we go. <laughs> so he just shrinks into it. I wanted to see a giant Wario collecting a power star and he's like, look at me. Uh, watch for rolling rocks. That's not the one. Uh, well, oh, that is a, a way later one. Um, are those other two the, th the ones I think they are? Because we head back over here. This can take us to, oh, the underground cavern. That's where we need to go for that. It's so far away. I want to try this. I want to see if we can <gasps> not do that. Luigi, thank you. Okay. Now, let's take a look at our environs. 
I think I can reach that with Luigi, can't I? Maybe. If I did this. Alright. Let's try it. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. That's not how you do it, Luigi. Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. That looked close. It looked close. If I can avoid going through as many elevators as possible, that would be pretty, pretty neat. Backwards and yes! Oh my god, with the camera completely working against me. He is mad that I did not take the intended route for that. Well, you know what? I don't care. I don't want to deal with it. We've been recording for way too long, so next time on Super Mario 64, I didn't even realize we were going for that long. Um, Let's go ahead and just drop back in right here. All right. I'll see you guys then. Is that how you're supposed to do an outro? No. Nah.